to do a little get ready with me. I've already got my foundation on and I've got some blue contacts. Well, they're like blue gray. Um, we are doing a collab today. We are doing a collab with this Fenty Beauty palette that I have received in front mail from Jovina Love. And um, so um, my friend Glam Goat Sue, she hit me up and said, I've got that palette. I've never used it. So, uh, want to do a collab? I'm like, sure. And then J Girl Beauty hit me up and she was like, want to do a collab? And I'm like, sure. So, here we are. We're doing a collab and we are going to do a smoky eye look because we're kind of like going back in time because this is, I think this was in a boxy charm years ago. I didn't get it because boxy charm is kind of like some people get the stuff, some people don't. I didn't get it and um, this was in it. And um, so I'm excited to have it and I've been using it. I've been using it quite a lot through the week. See, I've been there, I've been there, I've been there. I've been really digging on these. Um, <clears throat> but you can see where I've been playing around. And um, I've always wanted to do a smoky eye look with blue contacts, well, gray contacts. So my husband's in the background. I'm gonna leave all the girls links in the description box. And, including beauty and sense i am watching her playlist right now i'm letting it run um so you don't hear my husband's loud mouth in the background because he is so loud and uh so let's go ahead and get this started okay so i'm kind of wanting to use <clears throat> like there's this dark gray i'm kind of wanting to use this one there is no black in this palette but um, I, I think I'm gonna go with the the gray. I'm I'm not sure if I'm gonna use the blue. <laughs> I like this rusted red color too. It's really nice. See my stuff over here. Look at all that. Anyways, so I'm going to take the brush. Ooh. All right, Shit. welcome, welcome back, and we're going to uh, start over with this with this look that I accidentally didn't film last time. Um, and in the meantime, I've kind of changed up the way I want to do it. Um, God, I hate that piece. I can't wait until it's grown out and then it's gone. But anyways, um, I'm going to do some different colors. I'm still going to do, I, I kind of want to do this one, this one, these two, these two, and that one. And I might put some of that at the bottom. I'm not sure yet. But I'm going to go ahead and do the contour stuff and everything. Get that out of the way. Because I like my blush to be really close here. And I don't want it to affect the shadow. So let me go ahead and do that first. So <clears throat> before I put it on, I'm going to wet just a little tiny brush like this with some satin spray. I'm going to pick up a little bit of this Jaclyn Hill right here and go ahead and put her underneath my eye, bro eye bone, well, my brow bone, just to spunk it up a little bit because whatever's too much, I'm pretty sure that uh, I'm going to put it in my inner corner too. I do this first because I don't want to have highlight go over the shadow. So I'll just go ahead and get that out of the way like that. And I might as well just go ahead and put me a little dot right there and a little bit right there. Okay. Like Jaclyn Hill, but I really do love this highlighter. I have to say that one and the, her original Morphe palette are the only two things that I actually like from all of her shit. But anyways, <coughs> people say don't put too much blush on the cheeks of your, bone, or your, you know, your cheeks on the apples. I have, to, I have a very, very narrow face. You, I, it's, you do whatever. Don't follow trends. You do you. I'm one of those people, if I follow a trend, I follow it pretty late because um, I just get stuck in my ways. But it is to each its own. So anyways, so for the first color, I am going to dip into the brown. The brown right there. And um, I'm just going to kind of 
place it right over here. And this brown has a red undertone. Wonderful. Okay, so I like it when browns are really just brown without pink or red undertones. Like Jeffrey's browns, most of them, I've had some of his too with different undertones. And I'm like, why? So I'm going to just do that a little darker there. Now that I've placed it where I need it. The only thing about this palette, it has no black, but it does have that gray. So I'm going to just do that right there. And then I'm going to take into the crease line. Damn it. That gray that I was telling you I wanted to use. I'm going to use the same brush though. Okay. And I'm going to kind of like tuck it in my crease. So our thing about this collab is to do a um, smoky look because we're going back in time. This palette is an older one. Um, I, have, I think it was 2019 and it was in, or 2020, I'm not sure. But I, I think it was the end of 2019. I go ahead and put it underneath my under eye. Um, 2019, beginning, at, well, the end and the beginning of 2020. And it was in a subscription box that everybody's getting, BoxyCharm, I believe. And some people got it, some people didn't. I didn't get it. I believe it was the size of box that you got that determined if you got it or not. I'm not sure. I think it was the, the mega box or whatever. I forgot what they're all called. I used to get all three tiers until they started missing out on products. And then I can understand mistakes being made, but they were just making too many mistakes. And so anyway, so I'm going to smoke that out where the crease line is. See, if this was a black, it would be like two totally different colors. This way, it's kind of like running into one color. Let's go ahead and put a little bit more right there. I'm going to take a bigger brush, and I'm really going to smooth it out with a bigger brush. Kind of like this. Just to soften that up so it's not too harsh. And I'm barely touching my skin. I'm just really trying to light hand to just buff the eyeshadow. So can you see the difference and how hard that one looks and how soft that one looks? So let's go in a little bit over here. I've been loving browns and stuff lately. So I'm going to get some, some more of that brown because I just had the gray. Where's that freaking brush? Get this flat one right here. Flat, fluffy. And just knock it right there. goes really good together. So now for the last shade. Me and my problems with my brushes. Okay, so I'm going to take that blue that I've been wanting to use. Ooh. Oh, isn't she pretty? And I'm going to smoke her on. I'm going to carry her to uh, the front a little bit. So, smoky eye look is a, just an older traditional, but it's basically what we, what most of us do now. We just put colors on and blend it. This is more without a cut crease, so... I don't have to worry about all the super, super fine lines and being perfect, and I like that. I like to carefree put on my stuff. So now I'm going to swipe this on to give it a little bit more 
color. So now I'm going to do my lashes and my liner. And I'll be right back. All right. And this, oh, I think this palette is really easy. People have said they had a rough time with this palette. I don't understand why it works fine for me. It blends pretty good, but I understand that some, you know, everybody's different. Um, <clears throat> but for me, it works pretty good. I, I like it. As you can tell, I have really been into it a lot. So I'm going to put uh, Janelle, which is J Girl Booty. J Girl Beauty MUA. <laughs> I'm going to put her link in the description box. I'm also going to put uh, Glam Goat's link in the description box. And the person I got this palette gifted from, Jovina Love. She's more on TikTok. Her same name is on TikTok. But I'm going to put her link in my description box as well. So um, I'm going to top this off with some Flex Beauty lip gloss. As you can tell, it's very, very loved. Um, this is the Lip Plumper. It tastes like cinnamon. Now, it's not strong enough for me. The only one that, uh, there's only two that I know so far that are strong enough for me. And that is uh, Gerard Cosmetics Lip Plumper. And what was the other one? Um, Elf. Elf had one. And I used them both to the very end. But this one tastes good. It has a really nice shine. And it's not like sticky thick. Um, so it just tastes really good. So I, I really like it. That's why it's used so much. So you can still feel a little of it though. But anyways, that's it for this video. What do you think of the contacts? My husband likes them. And I'll see you next one. Thanks so much.